Okay guys, I'm in the back of the Brickerback section of Shabbat and um, it is, you know, always a, a very challenging uh, thing to work this section. Um, I did want to bring out a couple of things that I just ran across, but I'm a little disappointed. Um, first of all, this is a gorgeous mid-century dish and I was thrilled to find it and my heart jumped and it's a Sasha Brostoff. I'm from California, which I have sold several pieces of this online, and I have a couple pieces still. But if you will notice the chip out of the corner, um, it has an inlay to the gold. If you can see the texture design inside of the gold inlay, but this piece is completely worthless, and it's chipped, and I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely devastated. Sasha Brastoff is becoming extremely difficult to find. Um, and I can't believe I found this dish and it's cracked. Killing me. Absolutely killing me. The next interesting little thing are some of the little tchotchkes here. Um, for instance, these two which I thought about. These are Airco salt and pepper shakers. Vintage salt and pepper shakers. They're really not worth much, but they're sometimes collectible. And this here is a um, a glass, a depression glass. Um, this one could be probably salt because it's got a lot of the holes. Um, I'm looking for the mate to this one. If I find the mate, I'll buy them. I'm not going to buy singles. Uh, they're too difficult to try to match up. So this one uh, is kind of killing me too. This is just a, it's actually very heavy. It's a piece of depression glass. Um, vintage salt and pepper shaker could have could be made probably by anybody maybe Indiana glass or any of the companies from the the, the uh, mid coast that created depression glass so just another video here from the um, tchotchke se se section of the Shabbat thrift shop